Disclaimer, when I shot this video, there was a lot of wind, and so I had to voice over a lot of the parts in this video. So if you notice a lot of audio changes, that's what's going on. Just wanted to let you guys know, enjoy the video. Hey. How's it going? So, for those of you who didn't already know, I'm somewhat of a runner. And lately, a couple of people I've known have wanted to start getting into running, and people that have been running want to know how they can be better at it. So, today I've prepared for you 10 running tips that should hopefully help you in your running experience. These tips are tips that I have found from experience and hopefully will better your time as a runner. So without further ado, let's begin. To begin, the first and probably the most important tip about running is hydration. Drinking water every day is key to having a successful run. To figure out how much water you should be drinking every day, take your weight and multiply that by two thirds. Then after that, add 12 ounces for every 30 minutes that you run or work out. Once you start drinking this much water every single day, despite a few more bathroom breaks, you should feel more energized during your runs and overall just feel healthier during the day. You should also drink water before and after your run so you can give your body the nutrients that it needs. Tip number two, stretching. Just like hydration, stretching is an important factor to help you feel better during your run. If you don't stretch, your muscles will get tight, which could lead to injuries and overall just make your run much worse. There are stretches for your arms, your calves, your quads, your back, your neck, and pretty much every part of the body a runner uses. Again, just like hydration, stretch before and after your run so that your muscles are loose and you're ready to go. Number three is having the right shoe. Everybody's foot is different and no two feet are the same. And different feet need different shoes for running. Even though it may not seem like it, having the right shoe is a very important part in your running. If you have the wrong type of shoe, it can cause pain in your knees or pretty much anywhere in your legs that will make running very painful. My advice for finding the right shoe is go to your local Fleet Feet or some kind of shoe professional and have them check out how you walk. Once you have a shoe that is comfortable and fits you, go ahead and get that shoe. And then any time that you need new running shoes, go ahead and just go online and buy the exact same type. That way your running experience will be a lot better and you'll just have better shoes in general. Number four is starting small. When you're just beginning to run, you have to start small. Just go out and see if you can run two miles or one mile or even one lap around your neighborhood. And it doesn't even have to necessarily be fast. Whatever distance and whatever pace you feel like is good for you to start out with, go ahead and start out like that as long as you continue getting better run by run. You'll find that if you continue running, the longer distances you will be able to go, the faster speeds you will be able to go. As long as you just keep getting a little bit better, you are succeeding. Number five, 
making a plan. You and I both know that in today's world, it's hard to cut out time in your day for some of your hobbies, especially when those hobbies require a lot of energy. That's why making a plan for your week is very helpful. You should go ahead and plan out what days you're going to run, what you're going to run on those days, and when you are going to run it. Now obviously plans can change, but doing this allows you to quickly look at what you're doing that day and just go out and do it. I wonder what I should run today. Oh wait, my planner tells me. Four mile run today at five o'clock. It's good to go ahead and plan all that out before you even begin. Number six, vary your workouts. Yes, if you want to run the exact same thing every time you run, that's perfectly fine, but that's not going to make you a better runner. That's why you should have multiple different types of workouts for when you run. You can have a distance workout where you don't run as fast. You can have a shorter workout so that you can focus on your speed. You can have a hill workout to train your calves. No matter what type of workout you do, you should have at least three options so that you can A, choose which one to do based on how much time you have, and B, focus on the individual areas where you need to strengthen yourself as a runner. Which will also, no pun intended, make you better in the long run. Number seven is distractions. A big complaint that I usually hear from people is that they don't like running because it's way too boring. This can be true at times when you're going long distances by yourself, which is why it's good to distract yourself from your run and focus on something else that is less boring. The best way to do this is by playing music. Whether it's with headphones or you're just listening to it on a speaker, music is very helpful while you run. At times, running to the beat can help you with your pace, and overall, it's just a lot better than running in silence. Another thing that I like to do very often is sort of tell myself stories or go into sort of this daydreaming type place. Playing music or telling stories or whatever you need to do to distract yourself can be a lot better than just constantly thinking, I want this to be done. Number eight is to be aware. Having said that distractions can be helpful during your run, you also can't shut the world completely out. If you're running on roads or trails, there's going to be cars and bikers that are trying to get around you. You always have to know where you are in relation to everybody else. It's your job as a runner to make sure you get out of the way of cars and bikers so that you don't get hurt and so they don't get hurt. Also, if there is a sidewalk available, just go ahead and use it. Overall, just have common sense and be safe on the road. Number nine is running with others. Running is a lot easier when there's more than one person. When you run with someone else, it's a lot easier to keep pace because all you have to do is keep up with the other person. And even though you may not realize it, they're doing the exact same thing with you. So you're kind of helping each other by keeping each other in check. Also, running with someone else is a lot more enjoyable just because you have that feeling of knowing they're going through the exact same thing you are going through which therefore makes it just a little bit easier. Running with others is a lot of fun, especially in a competitive race or something, because you're just having a really good time together. And number
number 10 is having the right mindset. See, you can't go into running with the mindset of trying to beat someone or be the best in your school or something like that. That's a good goal, but that's not really how you should start. Running has a lot to do with personal achievements, beating yourself day after day. Like if you go run a mile and do it 10 minutes one day and you go run a mile the next day and it's even one second faster, you've already succeeded. Running is all about personal records and that's how you have to think while you run. You can't think, oh, this is going to be terrible. You have to think, can I beat my own time? Can I beat myself today? And the more you do that, the better you're going to be as a runner and as an athlete in general. This has been 10 running tips and I hope I've helped someone out there and maybe even encouraged someone to start running and I really hope that this video is helpful to you in the future. Let me know if you guys want more things like this video and give me suggestions of what other things I should give helpful tips on. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. God bless and goodbye!